The SpongeBob SquarePants series has received its fair share of Flash games over the years, some official and others fan-made. In most cases, fan content is great. You have your own way of contributing to a franchise that means something to you. Whether it's through art, videos, fan fiction, or pretty much anything, you can share your love for something that has made an impact on your life. That being said, sometimes fan content can get a little dark. I don't mean in the case of spooky or horror media, I'm talking about things like this. Let me explain how we got to this point. With how much people enjoyed my previous coverage of Spongebob Flash games, I decided to look into more I could make videos on. I explored the depths of internet history to find all that I could on this series. I was mostly looking for official content, but in my search, I came across a stranger side of the Spongebob community. At first, I didn't think anything of it. I assumed it was just a one-off sort of deal, nothing too big to make a fuss over. I got the idea to make a video playing some of the more bizarre fan games and making jokes about them, but then I realized we had a rabbit hole situation on our hands. If we're being honest, I can't help but question the intention behind some of these creations. I'm not sure why the creators were so committed to certain themes and recurring attributes. When I looked deeper into this, I realized this stretched even beyond SpongeBob SquarePants. We'll get into that later, but for now, let's just look at some of the stranger games people have made for it. Some of these will just be silly, and others will be... uh... weirder. Unfortunately, I will have to censor certain parts of these games, so let's get started. The first series of games I'd like to address is called Baby Spongebob. With a title like that, you know we're in for something unique. This game is called Baby Spongebob Got Flu. Just look at this image. Something is very off about this. It's on Google Play too, so someone with a reputation must have made this. All you do is click and drag different medical supplies to a sick baby equivalent of Spongebob. I don't like that his eyes are glowing red like that. Also, is a syringe really necessary? This was made by Jokuri Kids, who posted their games on the Gahe website. From what I've seen, it's a normal gaming website, but some developers have taken the opportunity to put their stranger creations on it. Jokuri Kids also developed a game called Finger Foot Surgery. It's too gory for me to show you, but it's exactly what the title says it is. But we're just getting started. Another Jokuri game was called Baby Spongebob Squarepants Doctor. I'm not sure why these developers were so obsessed with sickness, doctors, and surgery, but let's give it a try. This is the first one I have to censor because it has a few brutal injuries here. Now imagine you're a kid on the internet and Spongebob is one of your favorite shows. You feel like playing some fun little Spongebob games, so you look them up and the first thing you see is blood dripping from an open wound. Game developers, if you're marketing to children, don't do this. This isn't okay by any means. But like the last game, you click and drag things to cure his individual ailments. If this game has an ending, I haven't been able to get it because I've cleared everything and nothing's changed. For some reason, you have these tattoos you can put on him, but they don't fit absolutely anywhere. Why is this feature necessary? They don't even fit with the game's theme. This is just weird, and I don't understand why this game needs to exist. I never feel good about criticizing indie or low-budget developers, but it's hard to forgive a children's game that I literally need to censor. You can do better than this. But believe it or not, we aren't finished with the Spongebob baby. This one is called Care Baby Spongebob. That title alone should tell you everything. But the description is even better. When Spongebob is a baby. Relatable. One day his parents go out for a party. You is his sitter for the day. You have to take care, Spongebob. Take shower for him. Uh, no thanks. Feed him. Make him happy. Good luck. Baby Spongebob really so sweet. I'm not sure why you feel the need to say that, but I think that about sets the tone. Let's get on with- oh, that's repulsive. I'm gonna assume that's dirt and he's been playing outside. Thankfully, there isn't any blood or injury in this one, but using the wrong tool does take a life away. You have to use the tools the game asks you for. If not, you lose. Game filed. Oh no, they have my record on file. The first thing you need is soup, but tell me, do any of these things look anything like soup to you? That's when you find out the game actually meant soap. It might have been in their best interest to have found someone to proofread this. For what it's worth, the gameplay is better than in the other ones, because that's what you wanted. Better gameplay in the Baby Spongebob series. We have truly advanced as a civilization. Once all that's done, you- wait, 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 what? Why do we have to inject him? That seems a little excessive. They don't even tell you what you're injecting him with. That's the second time an unnecessary needle has appeared in one of these games. You're babysitting a kid, you're not a doctor. Are you even qualified to do that? 
then you can dress him up and the game ends. Apart from some stranger elements, this might have been passable as a standalone game, but the existence of the Baby Spongebob series just makes this another unusual installment. But let's move on from that. To cleanse our minds from that experience, let's look at some more innocent, but still strange Spongebob games. Then we'll move on to something a little darker. This one is called Spongebob Save Princess. First of all, just look at her. She doesn't even look like she belongs in a Spongebob game. It's just a basic platformer where you try to reach her, but I have to wonder what you're saving her from. She's just kind of standing there. And you can't get her until you collect all the energy power-ups throughout the stage, otherwise she just refuses to be saved. Some stages are actually surprisingly difficult. Wait a minute. Kirby? What's Kirby doing here? SpongeBob has to fight an army of Kirbys to save a human princess. How's that for a game concept? Later stages can just get flat out unfair with the amount of obstacles they throw at you. Not exactly what I'd expect to be a rage game. If the absurdity of it all was intentional, I think they succeeded. I don't really think it was, though. I've checked out their other games, and they're pretty similar to this. Nothing offensive, just goofy. Similarly, we have Spongebob and the Balls. Something is very wrong with the menu screen here. Look at Patrick. Where's his rock? Where's Spongebob's other arm? Where's the door to Squidward's house? Or its other ear thing? Why is everything drawn except Spongebob? And if he isn't drawn, why is he still missing an arm? So in the story, Spongebob is traveling to actual countries to save the world from evil balls. You do this by shooting them with this grapple thing until they break into smaller balls and you repeat the process. This would be an amusing concept if the presentation wasn't so bizarre. This doesn't need a story either, especially not one involving real places. Hey, bye. Wait, what was that sound? Hey, bye. Now check out Spongebob Shave Time. You could probably shave time by playing another game. Sorry about that. This was by Yiv.com and meant to be played on mobile. So just look at Spongebob here. His beard goes down his entire body. He's basically Gandalf. So you have to give Spongebob the most complicated shaving session so he can get ready for a job interview. You have to use every tool at your disposal to shave him, but ew. Once you do, he has cuts all over his body and there's a worm in one of them. Developers, why? That's so unnecessary. But after that, you have to dress him in clothes that barely fit. You don't have many silly options, so you can't mess around too much, but no matter how you dress him, he looks very uncomfortable. Maybe his arms are just too high up. So yeah, this is a very strange game. But enough about that. Are you ready for one of the weirdest, most head-scratching rabbit holes in all of Spongebob history? Let's get started with the Doctor games. For some reason, there are so many games where Spongebob is at the doctor or some other health professional and you have to clean up rather disgusting ailments. One of the more innocent ones is called Spongebob Eye Doctor. It was made for a site called Wowsome Games, which featured an abundance of unusual developments. Worrisome Games is a more appropriate name. More on them later. In this, you're a doctor with realistic purple hands and you're testing Spongebob's eyesight. Though it's kind of confusing because you're also sort of playing as Spongebob. At the start, you have to type or click whatever you see in the vision test on the left side of the screen. It's really easy, even if you have vision problems in real life, like I do. Then you play as the doctor and you have to rub Spongebob's eyes with this thing. But the next minigame is even weirder. You have to move the dots to Spongebob's pupils, but nothing tells you what you're supposed to do. They don't even take up that much of the screen. Then you get a conceptually interesting but poorly executed minigame where you match lenses so Spongebob can see clearly. You just give him two of the same and move on. Just like in real life, but not really necessary for a video game. Then you clean his eyes and pick a pair of glasses for him. It's interesting, and as a standalone game, this wouldn't be enough to raise any confusion. But let's look into some of Wowsome's other masterpieces. I'm going to warn you in advance. This one is called Spongebob Foot Doctor. And it is absolutely revolting to look at. Like with the others, you click and drag the right objects to clean up Spongebob's foot. Also listen to the noise he makes the whole time. <laughs> that doesn't even sound like Spongebob. Now look at Spongebob Nose Doctor. It's almost equally disgusting. Surprisingly, you don't even use most of your tools. I played this a few times and only needed to use one. You don't even need to. You can just keep clicking next until you win. There is no challenge whatsoever. Why does this need to exist? But believe it or not, this goes even deeper. I did say I had more to mention about Wowsome Games. As it so happens, their library is filled with games that are basically identical but with different fictional characters. Ben 10, Dora the Explorer, the girls from Frozen, the list goes on. 
This is almost like an Elsagate situation of its own. Why did they mass produce these very disgusting games that barely have enough gameplay to even be considered games? Forgive me if I think something fishy is going on here. This is really, really strange behavior. But are you ready for this situation to get even weirder? It wasn't just WoW some games. There was a whole dedicated following for Spongebob and other cartoon doctor games. There was Spongebob Esophagus Doctor, let's look into that one. Sponge and Emil, B-Bone Stuck Esophagus, you come and help him. It sounds like someone is trying to explain the instructions to me while trying to catch their breath. In the beginning, Spongebob is eating this 10,000 calorie meal and you have to drag the food into his mouth. Hey, he's eating fish! With every piece of Spongebob media I see, Sublime Seafoods makes more and more sense. I love how his face instantly changes to panic after he eats. It's like he only realized afterwards that he just ate a fish. You then shake Spongebob out and pat his back, thus beginning the main part of the game. You do some basic doctor stuff before using a tube to remove all the stuff you shook out of him earlier. Wow, didn't expect a game as basic as this to have continuity issues. Also, yeah, I have to censor it, so just look in the corner to see what I'm taking out. To describe it, there are several different kinds of mucus and cuts you need to stitch shut. Again, this is not okay for a children's game. Nobody is going to want to see that. But once that's done, there's even more. And you get to cut with a knife. Fun for the whole family. Then you give him a concoction instead of normal medicine and all his friends show up. Why are they all such drastically different sizes? Spongebob alone could fit all of them in his tummy. Then we'd have another surgery game. But for now, let's check out Spongebob Ear Doctor. Mr. Krabs looks just like his mother without a nose. As a matter of fact, don't check this one out. It's the most repulsive one yet. Also, why do you use a Q-tip? Aren't those supposed to be extremely bad for your ears? Let's move on from this one, please. But while we're checking out these strange doctor games, guess who's back? That's right, it's our old friend Jakuri. The animation isn't as good in this one as their other ones. It's extremely basic and I don't know how to beat it. Again, not sure why they made this. But by far, the worst one yet is Spongebob Heart Surgery. Take everything bad about the esophagus one and amplify it. According to the opening cutscene, this very non-Spongebob fish electrocuted Spongebob and now he needs heart surgery. At first, you do basic doctor stuff, but then you... give him a pastry. What's the point of that? I thought doctors were against unhealthy stuff. Then you actually get to the surgery and... yeah. There's mold, scars, and flies flying around. Then at the end, you give him a bunch of sweets and heal him. Then he says, haha, I am sorry. If he's apologizing for the imagery I had to witness, I appreciate it. This was made by I.I. Girl, who, like Wowsome Games, has a massive library filled with disturbing doctor games just like it. Almost all of them are about Elsa from Frozen, and most of them are even more grotesque than this. But there's one more series of Spongebob games I'd like to mention before we close out. These were even more widespread than the doctor ones. These are the Spongebob Dentist games. Let's start with Wowsome Games, because yes, even they got in on this. Spongebob Tooth Problems is a game where you have to clean Spongebob's mouth with dentist tools and remove his blackened teeth, replacing them with new ones. It's identical to Spongebob at the dentist, but this one doesn't have as much blood. You also have a selection of different teeth you can put in his mouth. Some have their own images on them. I don't know if this is supposed to be like an ASMR sort of thing, but it's very strange that so many people made their own versions of this. There was another one with a 3D Spongebob from a movie, and another one with even more characters and options. This was called Spongebob Tooth Decoration. Well, I guess tooth decor is better than tooth decay. Like with the Jakuri games, this was from the Gahe website. There's no way to win or lose, you just do your stuff until you're done. Then you can actually paint his teeth. Hey, I just cleaned those, why are we making them dirty again? Then you can repeat the process with Patrick, Mr. Krabs, and Squidward. Since this game has no rules, you can just take all their teeth out and replace them with goofy ones. Weird as this may be, it's got to be the most fun out of the ones we played. So that wraps it up for this weird selection of games. Now, I don't entirely know why these exist. There could be a lot of reasons. It could even be that the developers just thought this style of gaming worked. I can't really tell since I wasn't a developer myself. That being said, I don't like that these games were targeted toward children. It's clear that several of them aren't appropriate, and I seriously have to question what the intention behind them was. It's been a good few years, and a lot of these websites are gone, so we may never know. Others are still around and continuing to make games just as bizarre, though. Regardless, these were all unusual contributions to the SpongeBob community. Thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next memory.